All right, let's go ahead and break down all the new stuff that has come to both versions of the game, and that is coming. So there's a huge update for Global and JP. Uh, different things. We're going to go over both of them. So I don't know what order I'll talk about it in, but I will pin a comment that will be giving you guys timestamps. Excuse me. First thing we're going to talk about, though, even though we were just looking at JP's events, we're going to talk about Global first. So Global... Uh, if you cared about it, the celebration pack for Pilaf's Trove is going away. That was actually like the best pack in there. It was actually worth it if you were interested in Pilaf's Trove anyway. So we're re uh, resuming the game after shutdown. So basically, Global is patching the app reset trick. So like, for example, that's where you play and then you don't know if you're about to get super attacked or not. You're making your way through the turn and then the boss super attacks you and you close the app, reopen. It lets you redo your turn over. What JP did when they patched that a while ago is at that point, if you were to reset the app, it just resumes exactly where you left it. So they're fixing that here. Um, it's not really something that's supposed to exist, so you can't really be mad at it, but I do understand its usefulness. For example, um, I got to like 80 straight wins in the, you know, global tournament <laughs> doing that on the streak, and I did it like two or three times, so I don't think I would have got that without that. So that's going away, unfortunately, uh, in the next apt update. I think there's maintenance tonight, actually. Um, they are bringing in the new training system, so that's cool. This is like honestly one of the best features Dokkan has added in a very long time. It automatically can select units like it used to. It also can select up to 50 items, so that's cool. Only one training location, but you no longer need units to train now, so that's cool. You can just train with items as well. That should have always been a thing. I can't tell you how many times I get tired of doing friend summons, but this does take away a lot of relevance from friend summons as well. Uh, because you don't need the the fodder as much anymore, but of course you still get more experience and Last but not least for global we have super 17 coming. I'm gonna do a sneak peek video for him uh, Showing him off on JP a little bit. I've done like so many videos for him. A lot of people seem to think he's not a good unit He's not Amazing compared to intelligence Gogeta and a lot of the other 120s But he's still able to beat every event in the game definitely a really good unit with a surprisingly underrated banner uh oh emergency awesome just updated or uploaded i don't know why that's there though google chrome started doing that anyways surprisingly a very good banner super saiyan 4 vegeta rose super vegito 17 it's like a very very good banner uh, you know i'm gonna say something that's a little dark horse uh it's probably a better banner overall than goku's banner because you can get two units but of course you can save for intelligence gogeta which would be the best thing to do anyway and janemba if you wanted that but then my whole issue with the saving thing is you get into saving for that banner. Then you see that JP got this mega colossal banner that features, by the time you get that, that features like three or four category leads. And it becomes, well, you might as well save for that banner. Then you save for that banner and the cycle continues. So honestly, spend for what you want when you want. That's all this game's really about. Anyways, so aside from that, let's look at what JP's getting. JP's getting a really substantial amount of things that start off today i believe actually so a login bonus is here uh all the way to the end of september two week period you should have seen all this stuff in the news by the way past dokkan events are here again i don't know why they even bother to announce this they're like always there anyway like literally always there uh half stamina that's great if you need to awaken things the events are half stamina so that's cool uh they have missions available it says seven dragon stones in total Bro, why can't it be seven a day at least? I didn't think the 20 a day was reasonable to sustain forever, but I think seven or five or something like that is totally reasonable every day. I feel like that's reasonable. I, once again, we had the 20 maximum a day uh, not too long ago. I didn't think that was something that they should have done. I know a lot of people say, oh, yeah, definitely. They should get 50 a day, but no. In all seriousness, I think seven is reasonable, but apparently they don't want to do that. Um and I can't really blame them because not a lot of games do that anyway. So that's still premium stuff. They have a Gasha coming. This is a double rate banner, another Dragon Carnival. These two guys are awakening now, finally. Uh, we didn't have any news about Goku awakening, but we knew that Super Vegeta was awakening for like months. So we'll go ahead and look at those units as well. Uh, so what they're doing is every few days, like over the course of like a week or so, a week and a half, they have a type specific Dokkan festival. So they have a physical one, they have an AGL one, uh, and so on and so forth. Every typing, they're doing it. I don't know how I feel about this. 
But I will say that if you don't want to summon on it, just simply don't summon on it. So I'm not going to harken on it too bad. I'm not going to speak too badly about it. It's a good idea in the sense that if you need like specific monotype units, like specific colors of units, you can do it that way. So in that sense, it's a really good idea. Otherwise, I'm like, I don't know why this is a good thing. And the 21st World Tournament. So I talked about this recently, how they haven't had a... What is this banner? What is this banner? This is like really old unit and then... Are they just, like, trying to reenact the show? <laughs> oh, they are, huh? Because, oh, that's really cool. Because I think that this was actually the 21st World Tournament when that happened. Oh, that's cool. Um, Anyways, anyways, anyways. I'll have to check that. I could be wrong. I feel like it was, though, when that fight happened. You guys can correct me. I have to go back and watch it and check it out. But that's really cool either way. Um, Story events are returning, yada, yada. So Future Trunks' story event is back. If you wanted to farm that guy up with the uh, Android 18, incredibly bad drop rate medals. Uh, Bio Broly is here. I can finally awaken my Android 18 STR unit. And if you want to farm Bio Broly, you can. Uh, story event for Meta Cooler is coming back. That that event's garbage, basically. And two times rank experience. Don't know why they're doing that. Here are the special mi missions. Clear any Dokkan events up to 10 times. They're not daily. I don't know why. I don't know what the point of that is. Uh, so let's look at all the new cards. Uh, by the way, shout out to the Dokkan Reddit. Always helpful with this types of stuff. Which is why I don't mind maining this version of the game. So we have an AGL Mighty Mask. This guy is going to be very controversial. Um, not for who he is now, but for who he becomes. He turns into an LR. Yes, another summonable LR. Are you actually even surprised? Probably not. I don't know how I feel about this. I really don't like this, to be honest. Um, because this... kind. Excuse me, I burped a little bit. This kind of talks about the way that this game's direction is going and the fact that leader skills should have never been a thing to begin with, and if they were, they should have never jumped this way. Leader skill is four key for super AGL units and 100% up, and two key for extreme AGL units and 70% up. So he's a buffed version of AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, basically. Now, he does give 20% less, but that doesn't matter. You know how Rosé was run on that team for so long, and some people still run Rosé on that team? Rosé's a lot better now. You know how Majin Vegeta was like, man, I don't fit super well on this extreme AGL team. Well, guess what? You can run him on this team now. And what's going to happen with STR? You know how Broly is a Saiyan, and he wants to be with Super Saiyans? Now he could be run with SS4 Goku on that team and be a lot better than it would have been if it was just a Broly outright lead. That's what they're doing here. And to make this worse... They ha this thing has a has a has rebirth, so Majin Vegeta will like always get its key. He also has shocking speed. Uh, I believe it has the innocence and other little minor stuff like that. Z Fighters, which is an updated link, fifteen percent. So that's not a bad link. Uh, I believe this is the innocence right here. That is innocence. I don't know why Beerus always has the innocence because he's not an innocent guy. Prodigies, that's cool. That's actually really cool that they have that. Um, shocking speed. And then Legendary Power. So, very traditional Link set. So, the passive is the unit is able to get a random number between 3 and 9 key at the start of the turn. So, even just starting off with 3 key, for context, if this is your leader, it's going to have a minimum of 11 key. <laughs> Not factoring links. <laughs> uh, and it could get up to 9. And it, when it supers, it launches with 120% attack improvement. Now, I've heard a couple different things. Um... I've heard that the first super attack, the 12 to 17 key one, which should be fairly easy to avoid with this unit, to be honest, that lowers its attack. So that's kind of weird. But, I mean, this is like the second coming of LR Gohan as far as, like, self-sufficiency goes. You know, it gets a guaranteed amount, plus it has a godly leader skill. Now, the one thing that makes this not as bad as, like, a meta-killing thing is that it's a summonable LR, right? If it was, like, an outright Dokkan Festival unit, that'd be a totally different thing. And it totally would take relevance away from, like, the other 120 leads. Even though, once again, the number is higher, it's more consistent to run something like this. Uh, but, you know, they I, I've heard that the Mega Colossal or the 18 Plus is either Mega Colossal or Extreme. I don't know. You guys can correct me, but I've heard both. So assuming it's either, it doesn't matter because that leader skill is godly. But again, summonable LR means summonable LR rate. So I can't be too mad about that. But I just don't like what that means for the game going forward. So STR Goku, the one from the Frieza event. This guy now Dokkan Awakens. It's funny. I was talking about him like recently uh, in the chat. 
So he gets a one turn attack raise, so that's cool. They started doing that with a lot of units. He also keeps the KO Ken mechanic, or not the KO Ken mechanic, the KO mechanic. Um, when you're above 20% of HP, if the shot's going to one-shot you, you can basically survive it, from my understanding of it. And then on top of that, attack plus 90%. He picks up Rebirth, keeps the same Lynx package. I can tell you what they all are. Golden Warriors, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Z Fighters, Prepare for Battle, and Rebirth. So those are his Lynx. Not bad. Not a bad unit, but, you know, what do you expect at this point? They're all going to be relatively middling if they're not a festival unit so not bad last unit that's coming out of this is the vegeta rebirth okay so vegeta's rebirth gets a nine turn attack raise that's different nine turns is ridiculously different but the final flash art looks freaking great there two key 25 percent attack and defense up to physical and agl types Basically the same unit as the AGL SS2 Gohan, but a longer attack buff. But it doesn't really matter because it's a support unit anyway. Golden Warrior, Prodigies, Super Saiyan. Uh, what's this? No, no. This is this is Prodigies right here. Yeah, that's Prodigies. What's the... Oh, Saiyan Warrior Race. Duh. Saiyan Warrior Race wasn't updated. Um, Z Fighter. This is how much I play the game. I can just read this stuff. No prepare for battle, but it doesn't matter because he has the passive that gives key anyway. This is um, the link to weaken cell that gives one key. Uh, and then lastly, the Rebirth Link. So a lot of new stuff is coming into the game. Like I said, Global's getting the training system. Unfortunately, they're not getting anything new. Uh, also, the Japanese version of the game did update to in improve, or not improve, include some new features and mechanics as well. So that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you happen to be new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.